Hey guys, Blake here with another video and I've got another exciting store tour to bring to you today. This is the last one of the store tour tour, which means it's also the last one that will ever be filmed on the GoPro. So um, once again, just be mindful that the colors might be a little bit different to what you're used to, but it's such a fantastic store. I had to release the video. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so to get, get things started, the store we're going to today is New Life Aquarium in Keysborough. Fantastic store. All of the New Life uh, chain of stores is really great. They're all different in their own unique ways, which I really like. And yeah, there's no such thing as a bad New Life Aquarium. So some important notes for this one. Uh, it's located on a fairly busy road. Parking is a little bit limited. So um, you might have to do a bit of driving around to find a good park. I would suggest that this store has probably the biggest variety of rare fish available. So why don't we head inside and take a look? So the first section off to the side here uh, has a lot of epistogrammas, rare corridors, guppy lines and other small nano fish and shrimp. There's wild bedders also and just yeah a really nice array. Unfortunately the glare does make it really difficult to film and the tanks look pretty orange because there's a lot of tannins in the water. I guess a lot of these species uh, may be wild caught or prefer acidic pH like this epistogram here. So they do put tannins into the water. Um, but yeah, some really awesome sort of like skunk quarries and I think they're Schwarzei quarries, whiptail catfish and some cool stuff in there. Moving up from there, we have this awesome uh, aqua terrarium here, which is really beautiful and has won some awards and it's got some really nice bromeliads and such through it. Really beautiful setup done by Adrian Arium. There's also some really cool uh, quarries living in this scape as well. And then we have some selection of dry goods as well. Nice array, filters, fertilizers, foods, uh, dry goods and all that sort of stuff. Everything that you'll really need to set up a nice hardscape or to you know keep your tank running. Then we have the plant display here. Plenty of options available in terms of stem, foreground, midground, well, background as well, plants, and a great array here. A lot of interesting and rare stuff as well, some area colons, which you don't find too often. So, uh, so pretty nice little plant display here, and um, yeah, pretty impressive. I always tend to have a good look through here. So um, some nice Anubias, Java ferns, and I think there's some buse as well. Then we have the better rack here, which has a huge pothos growing out of it, which is really great filtration for the bedders. Uh, as we walk through, we do have some community fish at the start, some tetras, raminos, and cardinals to get started. But there's a huge variety of fish throughout this store. Obviously, we've got mollies and guppies, absolute staples in the hobby. There is uh, plenty of barbs as well, such as uh, roseland sharks or denison barbs, what some people know them as. Uh, all sorts of different kinds of tetras, which are pretty cool as well. Plenty of little uh, Bolivian rams and hecolies and other types of geophagus as well. And here you can see a general overview of what we've got to work with. I just continue to be blown away with the variety of this store. You've got just as many niche uh, Americans and Amazonian species that you do African cichlids as well. You've got all types of silver dollars, striped normal red hooks and spotted I think. Some Kerai tetras there which you know a big favourite of mine. We've also got plenty of angelfish and different varieties of angelfish as well. You've got Peruvians as well as a domesticated variety. You've got American cichlids as well, such as these rivulatus here. Of course, if we've got varieties of angelfish, we need to have some varieties of discus and there's all shapes and sizes, small ones, big ones, and everything in between, all sorts of colors. There's also some brackish fish as well, such as these awesome little scats. These are some uh, monos here, which are really cool as well. Of course, we've got to have Oscars. You can't have a store without Oscars. I believe these are some little shell dwellers here, but I'm really not proficient in uh, Africans. And something that's really cool is every single tank has some pothos growing out of the center of it, which I think is really great. It gets people asking the question, if you're a beginner heading into this store, you see all this devil's ivy or pothos growing out of all the tanks, you got to stand by and ask the question, what, what's the purpose? And I feel like it's just really eye-opening to all sorts of um, levels of hobbyists that head into this store. So then we've got some more Africans here. We've got some calvis and some peacocks. And then we head back out and we got some good look at the hardscape and then the cold water section here. 
plenty of goldfish varieties on offer, all sorts of uh, sizes and shapes as well. Um, basically all the staple goldfish that you'd find in, in most other fish stores. Then heading into the last section here, uh, last of all we have the saltwater section. So you've got a huge sort of uh, peninsula style display tank as you go in, followed by a couple of nano tanks. And then the layout is that there's two aisles either side and then a coral display uh, up the middle. Although there's corals on both sides as well, but most of the fish and livestock are on the sides. As you can see, there's a huge amount of tanks and variety av available here in the saltwater section. So um, yeah, plenty on offer there as well. I would suggest that the mixture is probably 70% fresh water, 30% salt water, but there's still some really impressive salt water stuff like this red line cleaner shrimp here, which is really cool to see. All sorts of corals, this goni here, I think, or a hammer, and these maroon clowns were also pretty cool to see. But all in all, a super impressive store. Always love going in here, and I'm always finding fish in here that I didn't know existed. So um, if you want to get your eyes opened into what's available, I uh, suggest so making a trip down to New Life Keysborough. Super impressive store. Staff are really friendly. And um, yeah, it just, there's a reason that people say a lot of positive things about this store. And I'm a big fan as well. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, it always helps me out to slap the like button, smash the subscribe button, and maybe even ding the notification bell. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.